Welcome to the class or Orals Marine Hub YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss that why the most of the equipments are marked with this 4 to 20 milliamperes and what is the actual reason behind this specification and the uh, reasons and further questions regarding the advantages of the 4 to 20 milliampere specification in the control system on the equipments. Before we proceed to this video, please watch this video till end because this video is going to be very much helpful. Also, please do subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed yet. So let's start with the video. Let us suppose we are going to study this pipe flow system through which the water is going to flow. Let us focus, we are going to measure the pressure uh, passing uh, on the water through this pipe. So we have mounted a sensor over the pipeline going inside the pipe it is going to sense either pressure flow or temperature or any other parameter currently we are focusing on the pressure let's suppose we are going to measure the pressure so this sensor is going to sense the pressure it is going to send the value to the transducer this transducer or transmitter is going to send the signal it is fed with the 24 volt dc uh, supply also, it is going to feed to the microprocessor or the cards or the PLC because this transducer is, going, is nearer to the system but it is going to send the signal to the control room or the SCADA or the electro, uh, engine control room. Basically the control room or the control panel where we are going to actually measure the uh, value of the pressure in the pipe. So, this system is in the control room and this has been located from the system by long cable or it is located uh, uh, at the distance of around a few hundred meters or maybe kilometers in the broader systems on board or uh, abroad uh, on board or uh, it may be located very far away. So there are long cables connected. Let us focus on this area. I would like you to tell that the most of the control system and the microprocessor are working with the 1 to 5 volt DC. Also it is working with the shunt or the working resistance of 250 ohms. So this transducer is going to create a 4 to 20 milliamperes range of the current that is 4 to 20 milliamperes loop will be created which is going to go to the microprocessors which we are going to further measure what is the actual value of the water pressure. Now we are going to see what all instruments we are using. So let's see which instruments we are using for measuring the parameters. The analog meter, pressure gauge, flow meter, pressure sensor and the PT100 temperature sensor. All right. The transducer electrical output, the most of the applications convert the input voltage to a 4 to 20 milliampere current rule loop. It provides a good lossless low impedance connection to control the instruments. Correct. Now the question arises, why we are focusing only on the 4 to 20 milliamperes and why not we are taking the 4 to 20 millivolts? Because by sending the signal as current, there is no error from the voltage drop because this cable is very long and if we are using a very long cable then at each point there may be the drop in the vol voltage. This is why we are focusing to measure the signal in the form of current and not in the form of voltage because the voltage drop introduced from the resistance of the wire whatever the length is there will be some error that is why we do not want that error to come hence we are sending the signal in the form of 4 to 20 milliamperes and not 4 to 20 millivolts. Now where does the 4 to 20 milliamp value come from? You might be wondering that from where this 4 to 20 milliamperes range has come. So the answer to this question is most of the equipments work safely in the 1 to 5 volt DC because this equipment equipment and the um, uh, PLC or the cards they are very much safe in the working range of 1 to 5 volt DC. 
with the standard 250 ohms resistor. Hence, by Ohm's law, as you know, V is equal to IR, thereby I is equal to V by R. So, calculating 1 volt by 250 ohms, that comes out to be 4 milliampules. Similarly, for 5 volt, this current is going to come 20 milliampules. That's why this 4 to 20 milliampules range has come in contrast to the 1 to 5 volt DC. Now the question comes, why the 4 to 20 milliamps is used and not 0 to 20 milliamps? Because the answer to this question is, the 4 milliamps current represents the zero signal. By sending a zero signal as 4 milliamps instead of 0 milliamps, we avoid the confusion of a bad connection. That means 0 milliamps disconnection or fault in the line with 0 signal 0 milliamps. Let's suppose there is some disconnection in this line going from the transducer to the uh, um, your uh, control room. If there is some disconnection that means there is no um, current or there is no output going. So if 0 if we are measuring for, with 0 milliamps, you will not get to know whether the system is having any kind of uh, breakage or not or any disconnection or not. So for that purpose, we are not sending a 0 milliamps, but we are sending as a positive value that even at, at 0 uh, signal, there will be 4 milliamps sent. When 4 milliamps will be read here, that means there is some problem. Instead of 0 milliamps, we are sending 4 milliamps. That means we are very much sure and confident that there is some fault or disconnection or there is some problem in the line. And if there is 100% of the output has come to here, that means it will give 20 milliamps. Simple. This is why we are focusing on no signal with 4 milliamps and 100% of full scale output with 20 milliamps. The last question is that what are the advantages of the 4 to 20 milliamps? So the first reason is as we have just discussed the 4 to 20 milliamps by this we can uh, it can be detected any kind of disconnection or line breakage or fault in the line by showing 4 milliamps at zero signal output signal. Okay. Also, the second advantage is the detection of the live line is possible, ranging between 4 to 20 milliamps. That means if the live uh, line is live, there is some current. That means it will show either between the range between 4 to 20 milliamps. Thirdly, the advantage of 4 to 20 milliamps is the linearity of the operation. By the graph we have just seen. The linear curve makes calculations very easy because it is very much easy to interpolate at different uh, values of the output corresponding to the different milliamps range. Fourthly, the safe and healthy equipments are met because the 4 to milliamps is a very minimum and very small amount of the current and it does not damage the microprocessors and PLC boards because this value is very much small, very negligible, milliamps, 4 milliamps is very small quantity and it is not going to damage. Lastly, there is very less eddic losses produced and low impedance because the since the current is very less in uh, magnitude, that is why the eddy losses are also less and the healthiness of the system is maintained. So, th these are the details what uh, we are using as a 4 to 20 milliamps range for our equipments in our sensors and our transmitters. So I hope this video is very much helpful and we have understood the actual uh, reason of putting this range. I hope uh, we all are understood and uh, thank you so much for your time.